Welcome to Netwatchers TV and Radio for another This Day in the News broadcast. Wallenford and Mavis Bank bow to protesting coffee farmers. Two of the island's large coffee companies, Wallenford and Mavis Bank, have reportedly agreed to make final payments to farmers for the 2017-2018 crop. Coffee Growers Association Treasurer Donna Meredith told the Jamaica Observer last evening that the farmers who had locked the gate to the Wallingford factory in the St. Andrew Hill since Monday were awaiting the arrival of the company's representative with the payment. The farmers are not leaving until the money is paid, Meredith said. The companies have agreed to 46 million of what is owed and they are to give us a promissory note to pay the other farmers who are not demonstrating at the gate by Friday. The farmers who say they are owed more than $120 million for the crop last week rejected a $60 million donation from Michael Leachin whose AIC International Investments bought Wallingford for US $16 million in 2030. Leachin is also a shareholder in Mavis Bank Coffee Factory. The $60 million donation was reportedly given to the Ministry of Agriculture to be issued to the farmers kind through the Rural Agricultural Development Authority. On Monday, the farmers described Leachin's donation as disrespectful, a position that was reiterated last evening by Meredith, who also said going forward any agreement reached with the coffee companies must be given to the farmers in writing as trust has been eroded.